Okay, this is part two of the ball screen passing breakdown for Luca Valdoza, who's just signed by the New York Knicks. Part one, we went through him hitting the opposite corner off a ball screen by reading the tag defender and the low defender in those examples. Today, it's going to be hitting the other progressions off ball screens. So this first action is going to be a double drag. The first screener is going to hard hedge. So the screener's defender is going to hard hedge right here. You can see this is the tag defender for the roller. He doesn't get inside the roller. So his eyes can see that the roller's open because the tag defender is not inside of it. And that's an incredible pass on time and on target. Like I was talking about in part one, you're going to hear that a lot because his passing accuracy is excellent. Here's another double drag action. You can see now they hard hedge after the second screener. He basically sees that this defender right here is tagging the roller, holds his dribble a little longer, fakes a pass to manipulate this defender to go back here to the pop and can now pass to the roller. Now we're at a high ball screen. You can see the screener is going to slip out. This defender's up to touch right here. You can see his on-ball defender is pointing right here to this defender there to try to take the roller. He doesn't. He can throw it right over top for a finish. Off this dribble handoff rescreen, he's able to turn the corner right here, have two commit to the ball, and throw a one-hand lob pass for a dunk. Okay, the next example is hitting the lift or hitting the shaker. So you can see he's going to turn the corner right here. This defender has a responsibility to tag the roller right here. But that's allowing the shooter right there to be open when he lifts up. Uses a float dribble right here to set up his primary defender to run into the screen. He's able to turn the corner. See that this defender right here is going to tag the roller which is going to allow the shake up to be open. This was an impressive pass right here. So they go dribble handoff. His primary defender is fighting over top. The dribble handoff defender right here is up to touch to basically trap him on this right wing. Now number two right here is the responsibility to tag the roller. He quickly sees that and now understands that this player is going to be open for a shot. So he's able to throw a right-hand hook pass on time and on target for a three. Now, watch how quickly he throws this to the top of the key. Right off this step-up ball screen, he's able to turn the corner. He understands that the screener's defender right here is up to touch. They are loaded over already to the ball screen. And number 12 is open right away. Just a great hook pass. You can see this uphill dribble handoff again. He turns the corner. He's able to quickly process that once the dribble handoff rolls right here, this defender is tagging, which is going to be allow this shooter to be open. Watch how he rejects this ball screen. They try to go weak right here to push him to his left, but the screener's defender is not below the level of the screen to stop his ability to turn the corner. And now they have to rotate. So he has to step up to meet him outside the box. This defender has to play two. They lift up and the lift up is wide open. This next play is very impressive. He comes off top of the key, ball screen right here. They slip out of it. Now he turns the corner. His eyes are looking at the roller which forces the low defender right here to commit to the roller. And when he does that, that's going to allow the strong side corner shooter to be wide open. Comes off this drag screen. Now, they do this action a lot where if they come off a drag screen or any ball screen, this offensive player will 45 cut right through the lane and then they'll lift up this offensive player to force this defender to basically take the 45 cut 
and 31 to be wide open like he is here. Now he's going to come off this step up that they slip out of quick. He's able to turn the corner, gets downhill, forces this defender to rotate over. Now the low defender here is playing this offensive player and the corner drift, which allows number 8 to 45 cut right to the rim for a live catch and finish. Once he sees the screener's defender right here is disconnected from the screener, he's able to split through right here. He sees space, so he splits through. Once he splits through, the nail defender has now lost the 45 cut right here from this offensive player that was on the wing. He's able to get in the middle of the lane. The low defender right here tries to go verticality, and he can throw a little dump off pass right there to the 45 cut and now he's at the restricted circle for a layup 